so this one is traditional waterfall model in case of waterfall model in case of waterfall model we have five levels here requirement analysis in case of waterfall model in case of waterfall model waterfall model or else here he is saying traditional approach for software development a traditional approach for software development a traditional approach for software development actually this model through this model what actually this model suggesting levels how many levels we need to use while building a project so here how many levels we have we have five levels those five one is requirement analysis once after confirming project from client if client once if we confirm the project if client once if we confirm the project consultant people they need to start the analysis first they need to start the analysis from their side so that analysis first they need to do the first phase is requirement analysis requirements analysis requirement analysis they need to do the requirement analysis who will do this requirement analysis system architect okay business requirements ba will find system requirements your architect will find architect will analyze everything business person ba and system architect system architect will do requirement analysis and after completion of this requirement analysis he will provide documentation system architect he will provide one requirement specification document he will design one requirement specification document requirement specification or rad requirement requirements for application development rad means we have many definition rapid no 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 requirements for development or requirement specification document requirement specification document requirement specifications document specification document they need to prepare requirement specification document these people they need to prepare and they need to send to the next level for do the designing the next thing is designing design designing phase so in this designing phase in this designing phase again architect here business analyst and architect can participate here your system architect system architect system architect system architect he need to prepare he need to prepare designings which designings use case designings and entity designings all these uml designs unified modeling language unified modeling language by using uml uml he need to do the designings so which designs he need to provide the main required designs here first one is entity design entity relations and the next warm relationship model entity relationship model warm relationship model if it is a if it is a java or dot net for dot net also we have warm model object relation model is similar like entity model so that warm proposal warm model also they need to design here those warm models are your class diagrams we need to design entities entity diagrams then we need to provide class diagrams those class diagrams are warm models so in case of hibernate those warm models are our hibernate beans okay and after that they need to provide use case model use case models they need to provide and they need to provide some sequences collaborations and deployment models deployment models we have many models so those all models they need to design and they need to send that models to the developers 
they need to send that models to the developers they need to send it to the developer then developer need to do the development or coding development they need to start the development here they need to implement that by understanding that by understanding this models by understanding these models they need to provide the implementations developers need to provide implementations here after completion of implementations we need to send that one to testing here testing people they will participate testers here testers they will participate in testing so here which guys which kind of testing they will use which type of testing it can be a manual testing or it can be a automation so which one they need to use in their business functional requirements if they required manual testing they will ask us developers they will ask developers for doing manual testing if they required any automation automation testing they will ask here so here testers they may do testing manual testing or it can be automation automation testing also they may do here then finally after successful testing they will send it to deployment phase or maintenance phase maintenance maintenance phase so this is what actually traditional software development life cycle model waterfall but waterfall model is not recommended for large scale application why it is not recommended once after coming to the development if you want to make any modifications on your application if they ask us for feature enhancements again again they need to go back so to go back again they need to go to the architect architect again he need to change the designing if we change the designing again development also complete code also we need to modify again so it may take lot of time and it can be cost what we can call we may need to put more investment again and again if you want to do any modifications those modifications are not possible in case of waterfall model why because after completion of one layer if you ask for modifications if they ask for modifications again they have to go to the back uh, so it is not possible for large scale applications and it is not at all recommended this waterfall model is not recommended for applications for future enhancements this one is not recommended for future enhancements this one is not at all recommended feature enhancements if they required any feature enhancements after completion of testing again they need to go back and while doing each layer while developing each layer while doing designing while doing analysis while doing designing they need to cross check multiple times before delivering it to next level a complete successful architect he need to he need to design complete requirement analysis he need to do the complete requirement analysis and he need to send to the next level after sending to the next level if you required any modifications it is not possible to make so complete things he need to analyze first and he need to send to the designing people designing people they need to design complete designings they need to complete here and they need to cross check multiple times is there use cases and is there relationships and is there warm is successful designing or not they need to test we can text in if it is a rational rows under rational rows we can test umls we can test umls if that umls are successful umls for making applications then they need to send to the next level this developers while sending to the testing team they need to cross check first and they need to check and finally they need to send to the testing people so to test as a developer what we have to use here we need to write some j unit test cases here by using our java unit by using j unit you need to test here before sending to testing team then if you once if you send to testing team this te testing team they will do manual testing or automation testing finally if their testing is success then they will send to maintenance people so that maintenance people what they need to do maintenance people are who who are maintenance people he can be a dba and server admin 
so finally finally they will send to database database people and server admin people they need to maintain their application but this traditional approach is not recommended this traditional approach is not recommended waterfall development model if you complete one phase before moving into next phase you rarely aim to revisit phases once it's completed that means you better to get whatever you doing right the first time so before sending to the next level you need to cross check multiple times and you need to send why because again it is not possible to come back if you go it will take much time but you don't realize any value until the end of the project you leave the testing until the end you don't seek approval for the stakeholder until late in the day this approach is highly risky why because once once if you skip the loopholes from this level if you send to the next level if you send to the next level this te testing people finally they will find if they send back again what they what do you need to do within that dead time i mean they will provide some time limits within that time you need to complete your project if you are not unable to do the project within the time we need to again pay to the client as per the agreement so what here they are suggesting this model is not recommended model it's a high risky model so they are suggesting here agile approach agile approach is the recommended model 